Hi, welcome to the Science Shifu channel. In this video, I aim to teach you how to determine the correct property of matter. A brief introduction about myself. I'm Andy, the founder of Science Shifu, that offers pre-recorded courses for your child. Now, this video has two questions. You don't need to take out any piece of paper to write out. All you need to do is just to look at the two questions and choose the correct options. So without further ado, let us look at question number one. Alex poured water from a measuring cylinder into a conical flask. The conical flask is the diagram here in the middle and into a beaker as shown below. And based on the activity that Alex has carried out, what can you infer? You have A, water has mass, B, water has no definite shape, and C, water has definite volume. You can click on the pause button in the YouTube video and try this out. Once done, click on the play button again. All right, so let's go through the answer. Is A correct? Nope. B? What about C? Now you may be thinking, why is sentence A and C wrong? I thought we have learned this in the textbook that water has mass. Water has definite volume. But why is this not relevant here? To answer that question, we will have to go back to the knowledge of how to determine the object has mass or how to measure mass. To measure mass or to determine the object has mass, we will need to have to use some equipment. One such example will be the balance. If you put an object here and an object on the other side, if this balance is horizontal, it means that the mass of the two objects are the same. But if one is tilted down and the other one goes up, that means one object is heavier than the other. For the electronic balance, quite straightforward, you put the object there, and if the electronic balance shows a reading, that means the object has mass. Then what about the other property? How to determine if the object has a fixed or no fixed volume? To determine if a substance has a fixed volume, we will need to use a switch. Now, please take note, this slide does not tell you how to measure the volume. This slide is telling you how to determine if a substance has a fixed or no fixed volume. So to do that, we will use a syringe. And as you can see, the syringe has a plunger. And we will put the substance inside. And you try to push the plunger. If the substance is compressed, what does that mean? It means that it has no fixed volume. If the plunger, no matter how I try to push it, and it remains the same, then you will realize that there is a fixed volume. So you can see that based on different properties, we will have to conduct different experiments out there. So you can see that based on different properties, we have to conduct different experiments. To determine if the object has mass, we will use a beam balance. To determine if the object has a fixed volume or not, we will have to use a gas syringe. Once we know all this knowledge, we can then apply it to this question. And the explanation is as follows. Sentence A is wrong is because this experiment does not even use a balance beam. It doesn't use any electronic balance. So we cannot determine that the object has mass. Sentence C is not relevant or is wrong because to determine if the object has a fixed volume, we need to use a gas switch and we need to push the plunger if the plunger does not move, that means it has a definite volume. But however, based on what Alex has done, he did not use any plunger. He did not use any gas switch. So that's why for question one, the answer is option B only. So what can we learn from question one? Is that even though we learned all the properties in the school textbook, not all properties are relevant for the question. We have to look at the activities that are conducted or done by the person and determine the correct property. On to question two. David placed two objects, X and Y, made of different materials on a balance. He observed that the balance is tilted as shown below. And based on these observations, which of the following 
statements is or are correct. So your sentence A, X has a greater mass than Y. Sentence B, X, uh, sorry, Y occupies more space than X. And sentence C, both do not have a definite shape. So you can click on the pause button and try this example. Now, let me provide the answer. Is sentence A correct? Yep. Sentence B. And sentence C. So you may be thinking, why is sentence B wrong? Then? Well, the reason is it is not possible to tell. We need more details, such as the volume of X and Y respectively. And from there, we can determine if X, if Y did indeed occupy more space than X. Always remember that this whole question here only has the balancing beam. If the beam is tilted, that means that you're trying to measure the mass or compare the mass. To find the volume or to find if an object occupies more space or not, we will need to measure the volume. As for sentence C, the explanation is it's also not possible to tell. To determine if an object has a definite shape or not, we will need to put these two objects into different containers. If we manage to occupy the space inside a container, then the object has no definite shape. So what is the summary here? In order for us to determine the correct property, we need to look at what kind of activity is being conducted by the student or the teacher. If you want to determine if the object has a mass or not, we would then need to use apparatus such as the balance or the ele electronic balance. If I want to determine if the object has a fixed volume, we would then need to use a gas range and try to push the plunge. If it does go in, that means that the, the substance has no fixed volume. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, we will greatly appreciate if you can click on the like button. And if you find this video to be useful for some of your friends, please do share it with your friends out there. And finally, to watch or to learn more new stuff, do subscribe to our Science Shifu channel. Should you have any inquiries, you can always email to andylink at scienceshifu.com. And if you want to look out for more pre-recorded courses, you can click on the, uh, check out the video description right below the, um, this video. Thank you. And I wish, hope to talk to you again soon.